Hey what's up, in this video we're going to create this wavy lines look in After Effects with the repeater. So let's get started, Control N, create a new comp, we're using a HD comp, 30 frames per second, uh, 10 second duration. Let's call this uh, main comp. First up we're going to create a horizontal line across with the pen tool. So if you already know how to do that, you can skip this part. So let's go to view, show grid. View, snap to grid, turn on, and then I'm gonna turn on my proportional grid over here, and I'm gonna go in on this side, click on he this on the left center, and then hold shift, click on the right side, let's zoom in. I'm holding shift so that it, it will be a straight line and then it should snap to this side here, so that should be good can turn off the grids now okay so you can set the width to however you want i think 10 can change that later let's just rename this as a wave lines open this up open your shape up and we can first thing we're gonna add is our zigzag so close up our shape change the zigzag to smooth increase the size and the ridges so the ridges, uh, we do a odd number so that this end here will fit or touch the other end over here. And the size, let's go with 20 and then the ridges, ridges 15. You can change that later and see how it looks like. So first we're gonna repeat this. So add repeater, open up the repeater drop down and then open up the transform repeater set the position here so this is x and y we set it to zero first and then we're gonna play with the y i want to move it down so this is what i get 40 i'm gonna increase my copies let's say i want four four in this group and then i'm gonna change my position off to the side a little and now i'm finding that my stroke is maybe a little too a little too thick so i'm gonna increase i'm gonna decrease it to maybe six six looks all right continue to just move things around till i like it so i don't want it to to touch the previous uh the previous end size of 20 my repeating position is x20 y40 so I like to keep things a little bit more consistent 20, 20, 40 ish kind of thing uh, so I'm just gonna rename this repeater here group repeater and then we're gonna repeat this again so my next repeater I want it to repeat down and then flip it over so I should have two copies open up the transform again uncheck the scale constraint negative 100 by 100 so that it will flip over to the other side and then position let me see my size of the zig zigzag is 20 i have four copies so i'm thinking 80 change my position on the y to let me see here 160 is just right or if i want it i want more spacing between each group I can go a little bit further maybe 180 is fine to give a separation between between them and then the position on the x uh, this is what it looks like zero so 40 will be this much 80 i think fits fits better so 160 170 i think i'm going for 170 here so all these values go ahead and play with them to the look that you prefer that you like I'm gonna rename this repeater as flip group repeater okay next we're gonna repeat this this group over top and bottom throughout the whole comb upwards and downwards so we repeat again select another repeater open it up let's just rename this as our y repeater open up the transform position x zero and okay let's let me go to three first so we know what we're working with so three copies one two three top middle below i'm gonna offset it by negative one and nothing is happening yet because my position is not changing so let's move it upwards and downwards i should be using 170 times two to make it the same same offset amount 
So I'm having three copies, one, two, three. I'm offsetting it by negative one because if it is zero, it will be using, it will be doing this one, two, three. So negative one, uh, negative two. So the offset of negative one, three minus one divided by two. Let's say I'm doing nine so that I have a lot more uh, height. Got the minus one, which is eight, and then I divide by two, which is four. So should be doing negative four. And just to check, just to check, I'm gonna scale this down. See whether this is uh, kind of equal. It looks like it is. I'm gonna double tap U to bring that up again. So let's say we are doing seven. Seven minus one, six. Six divided by two is three. Negative three should do the trick. So let's go to, let's go to 11 and and negative five so that we fill up a lot more space on the top and bottom. We will add another repeater now. Repeater. So this one is to fill up the left and right spaces. Let's just call this x repeater. x repeater. So same thing. Let's go for 5 and offset of negative 2. Position x and y. So my width is the com width. Let's try 1920. So 1920 by 0, everything else remain the same. Let's move our scale back to 100 and this is what, our, what, what, what we get. Uh, next up, we're going to animate this. So we're, we want to move this from left to right. Click P to bring up the position. If you like, you can separate the dimensions to make it simpler, easier. We can put a keyframe here and move it to the to the left. So I think about half half the comp size will be all right for a start. So let's do zero. Go to the end of the comp, and if I'm not wrong, nineteen twenty. So from zero to nineteen twenty. Okay, let's play this. Cool. I think this looks all right for for now. Select our wave line. Control Shift C. I'm gonna pre comp this. Put it inside a comp, and then just just call it wave lines pre com go back to our main com i'm going to rotate this press r to bring up your rotation put 45 to give it this slanted look and i'm going to use this it says for com layer collapse transformation for vector layer continuously rasterize for now it means that it will see things out of the com size that's how i interpret this so tada let's preview this Okay, thing looks alright. You can see that moving it from left to right because of how our calculations, uh, how, how we set things up, it is seamless. So in the next video, we'll be looking at using wiggle paths to create another variation of this wavy lines here.